tool. Tell me about what we're looking at. Clamp tight tool is an extremely versatile tool. The big question we get a lot of times is which tool do I need? And it really kind of just depends on what projects. The great thing too is we've actually made the tools so you can use it for just the regular car guy, the mechanic, the true mechanic, or even like the guy that only wants snap-on tools. You want the best of the best. And that's all about the wire size that you're working with. So let me tell you a little bit about these tools. This one here is our plated steel with an aluminum body. It has stainless steel on the nose, aluminum on this body, and this is our all stainless steel tool. This one here is a really good all-around tool. You're going to use it for just about anything around the house, the car, the boat, the RV. Keep it in your car, have it with you at all times. The other great thing too is we just came out with this one. This is our mini. It's half the size as our regular tool, so it's going to get into those really tight, tight spaces. These two will do up to 51 thousandths. This one will do up to 62 thousandths sized wire. The mini will actually do up to 41 thousandths, and 41 is your really good all around wire. You're going to be able to use that for just about anything. So these are for applications you might find in a home, in a shop, something maybe a little more common. Absolutely. The bigger tools, now these are going to do wire size. This one here is going to start at 62 thousandths size wire, and it actually does up to 0.125, so it does up to nine wire. This one starts at 0.125 and goes up to an OT4. I actually have a guy in Wyoming putting telephone poles back together when they split using that tool in OT4. No, I, I'm seeing some applications <laughs> here and I'm thinking I would never have thought to use clamp tight and yet here it is and it works. And it works great. It's like agricultural applications, you know, just oil rigs. People are using it on there. So fence posts, barbed wire fencing fits in there. So you can do just about anything. You know, even if you're just safety wire in something, you can use this tool and it's actually more secure than a regular safety wire would be. So for people at home, how do they make the decision which one is right? And is there one that is just more universal than another? A little bit can be about price. So they are, they do kind of go up in price a little bit. So if if you're using it just for one or two things around the house, this one or this one will do you all day long. If you're using it more often, this one here is what you probably want to use just to save your fingers and get a little more torque out of it as well. I absolutely love it. I have learned a lot. And now we're going to kick it over to Kathy and Kevin for a little real world application. Well, we're over here with the Corvette and Kevin. You guys have all kinds of tools to cover all different hoses like we're going to have underneath the hood here and different size wire for different tools as well. So if we're taking a look at some of the things that we would need to fix or maybe want to clean up and make them look better if we're going to make a show car out of something, what are some of the things we need to keep in mind? So most of the tools that are sitting here you can use for any of the hoses here. Like if we're talking about the intakes, things like that, your coolants, any of the tools will work. The most common one is the one you have in your hand. That's what most people use because that nice T handle there gives you a lot of torque to get on those thick rubber hoses and things like that. If you wanted to use the most common wire is a 41 thousandths wire, it'll do anything underneath the hood. I use a little bit smaller like my 51 thousandths wire. It's great for doing your thicker hoses if you want to do it on the intake. And okay. It's a much beefier look so it looks a little bit better depending on the car, especially if you're doing a muscle car or something like that. 62 thousandths is great for those muscle cars because it gives it that nice thick look. It's got that nice thick wire, but that's all about aesthetics. Well, and you know, when we're doing something like this, there's also some areas that maybe the tool that you have to do all your other stuff, it's not going to fit in. You know how they're cramming everything under the hoods with hoses and wires and stuff going everywhere. But you guys have so many different size tools, just like what we're going to do to to fix our problem that we had here on this particular Corvette. And that's the mini. Absolutely. This tool is perfect for getting in those tight spaces down closer into the engine. So let me go ahead and take that tool. We're going to stick our nose in just like this, wrap it around our pins on both sides, and then we twist those two together just like a bread tie. That's what locks it all down so the tool doesn't slide around everywhere. And I noticed that when you guys are doing this, you're not really concerned about whether that part is loose or not. Right. You're just snugging it up, and then, then you start turning it. So I'm in that notch just like that, and you just start turning the tool. Now that wire is being push-pulled, and that's what gives us that full 360-degree seal on that clamp. That way you don't have to worry about it getting loose or anything or coming loose in air or, in this case, coolant right. leaking around everywhere. That's never good. And then we're going to do that, and we're going to flip it over just like we do all of our other clamp-tight tools. Comes right off and just like you saw. Yeah, and we're going to clip that, put them down. You want to find out more about all the different clamp-tight tools for different size jobs, you can go to their website at clamptighttools.com, and we'll have so much more Performance TV coming up.